Tonight you guys had a tough matchup with a feisty Cleveland State squad. Uh, it seemed like a dogfight out there for most of the first half until you were finally able to break through right before halftime. 31 seconds left before halftime. Uh, how did it feel to uh, get that header there? Uh, it felt really good. Um, you know, hopefully we were planning on scoring a little bit earlier in the match um, you know, to get out to a good start and everything. But uh, it was good for us to get a goal in the last five minutes. You know, uh, Teddy, you know, was able to you know, get a, get in a good position down you know, on the right flank. Uh, he had a good ball, and I was trying to get in a good situation, uh, and uh, just trying to get it on goal, and it you know it went in. So uh, you know it felt good, and it, and it was a big time to get it in the last uh, five minutes. We needed that going in the locker room. I think that at times we were able to play. You know, at times we can see that we can play with, with almost anybody, and uh, you know it was unfortunate in the in the second half. You know we kind of dropped our guard a little bit, uh, but we were you know for, for the first part of the second half we were doing a really good job, um, spacing them out and everything. But then uh, we just kind of hit a wall you know, in the last 20 minutes, and uh, you know we let down a little bit. But you know with the reaction, you know Andy had a great goal. You know right after right after the goal, the next five minutes, it's always big time. We always do that in practice, and so it was huge for us to get that goal. Obviously a tough UNC squad coming in on Friday. What lessons do you take from tonight and apply to Friday? Um, I think that, you know, just being able to manage the game uh, a little bit better. You know, we did, uh, you know, get the first goal, last five minutes of the game, critical moment. Um, you know, response to the goal was very good, critical moment. Um, and being able to establish a rhythm like we did in the second half. But just learning in the last 20 minutes, you know, that we can't, you know, let down at all. Um, you know, we let them stick around in the game too long and we, we should have put away our chances and put away the game so uh, you know when we get our chances against Carolina hopefully we can uh, you know stick those away and take our chances. Seems like the story of the season so far has been finishing those chances. Uh, last two two games you guys have been able to put away two goals. How does it feel to kind of turn the tide start scoring a little bit? Yeah, it feels good uh, you know it starts to uh, get us a little momentum going in you know we're almost a third away through the season and uh, you know it's good to see some of the goals start you know, some product out of you know our play. Um, so it's always good to get goals and uh, hopefully continue you know, against Carolina. It seemed like you guys were able to control the pace of play tonight uh, for the most part, but obviously Cleveland State came out of the locker room in the second half, uh, refused to give up, and, and came back and equalized. Um, coming back in in the 76th minute, less than a minute later, you are able to put the team back up. Uh, talk about that sequence and, and how it felt to get your first goal of the season. Yeah, no, uh, felt good to get the goal. I think uh, one of the midfielders played a ball into uh, Hugo, who let it run, and I was able just to run onto it and skip it off my chest and, and finish well. So it felt good. Uh, a byproduct of the way we play is to create a lot of chances. So my job is to finish, and it felt good to get that, get the first goal. Hopefully, there's more to come. Coach kind of talked about the game plan tonight with with Cleveland State, uh, maybe trying to wear them down a little bit. Do you guys feel like you were able to come out and uh, execute that game plan tonight? Yeah, no, I think we definitely uh, controlled the tempo and we, we created chances with our, our possession. We Obviously, we would like to have finished a lot, finished more of those chances and maybe made the game a little bit easier on ourselves, but I think we did a decent job of uh, creating chances and controlling the pace, but when you uh, don't finish your chances, teams can uh, sneak in and, and get a goal, so that's something we need to improve on, but overall, it feels good to win and we hope we can just keep this momentum going into UNC. Speaking of the Tar Heels, uh, you're kind of a wily veteran now, uh, faced off against North Carolina a few times. How tough is that match, and uh, what do you guys need to do to keep this momentum going on Friday? Yeah, they're always a, a good team, but uh, UNC games are always fun. It's always a really good atmosphere. So I think uh, from that standpoint, we'll all be excited for the game. The atmosphere will be good, but I think uh, preparation-wise, we just need to continue this, mo or continue this momentum and focus on our game. I think we'll, uh, it'll be a fun match. Thanks, Andy.